obviously uh, not the result you're after on Friday. What's sort of been the wash up from the game? What have you identified out of that game? Uh, I think I think you know the biggest thing is we knew that the Cats were going to come out firing after the week they had the week before, and um, you know on the night they hunted us and really got the numbers to the ball and just beat us in probably that area around the midfield. And um, yeah, we know that this week's a big game for us. So if we can. Uh, you know, take a few positives out of the game is that, you know, we're still number four and I think top four in defence. So, you know, and they're in the top rankings for uh, Hawthorne, the top rankings for uh, their forward line. So it's just going to be a big game this weekend, and we're looking forward to bounce back. Was it as simple on Friday as that you just the intensity just wasn't there for you guys compared to them? Um, I don't know if it was in intensity. I think you know everyone wants to play with intensity. I just think that at times they they just outnumbered us a bit better, and they got the the players to the ball, and they just outspread us at times. So. Did you get a look at Hawthorne on the weekend? What did you think of them? Oh, I think yeah, they're they you know they're really pushing for that you know that top probably top two spot in the in the eight and you know they're they're a really good side and I think you know if if Friday night we can come out the same way Geelong came out after their loss then it's going to be a really big game so I think uh, we'll look at our tapes today and um, yeah come out fine ready to go. Is that the thing just to turn into the hunted this week and turn it around a little bit? Oh, I think definitely. I think. Um, you know, the team we are is we know that, you know, we're a resilient team now. So we know that when we're under the pump and uh, things aren't going our way, that we can turn it around and we can come out and, uh, you know, we can hunt them. The last few seasons, you guys have, or last year at least, you guys dropped away a little bit in the second half of the year. What sort of, why do you think it's going to be different this time around? Oh, I just think, you know, as a team, we've we've definitely improved as a, as a whole. And, um you know, there's more and more players that are stepping up each week. The VFL are going really well, so when we do, blokes aren't playing well, we can bring players straight in and we can uh, fill those gaps and uh, come out firing. Does it ever go through your mind, though, here we go again? Um, not at all. I think, you know, the best thing about football is you have a loss one week and then the next week, you know, you've got another game of football there ready for you. And, you know, it just happens to be Hawthorne that are, who are playing really well, but we're definitely up for the task and ready to go. Does your top four hopes lie in this game? Oh, I don't think so. I think, you know, we as a as a club we take every game, you know, one step at a time. I know it's an old saying, but we take it one step at a time. And um, you know, Hawthorne's our our task this week. And if we can beat them, then we go to the next week and play from there. I saw Luke Hodge return for Hawthorne on the weekend, and also Buddy didn't play. Obviously, will you be planning for either of those guys this week? Um, oh, I'd, I suppose it'll be in the plans. But you know, you take the whole team. So you know, their one player can't can't play for their whole team. So. You know, where um, I'd say Hooksy will probably line up on Buddy. I'm not sure who will line up on him if he plays, but if he's there, it's just another bonus and it's another task for us to, you know, play against. As a defender, is it a pretty daunting task coming up against Hawthorne when you saw how many avenues they had to go on the weekend? Um, oh, I think it's... I, I, I love, the, love the task to know that, you know, the forwards that we played against, that we are playing against, are going to be... Uh, you know, they're going to be coming into good form, but I think our defence is in pretty good form too under the circumstances of how, how much the ball came in on Friday night. I still thought the defence handled themselves pretty well, so I definitely reckon the back six is up for the task. What's a likely match-up for you, do you think, uh, Gunston perhaps? Um, possibly. I, I, was, I was watching them pretty closely and, um, you know, the, the best thing I find is that no matter who's down there, I can either play tall or I can play small, so I'm just ready to, yeah... Whoever's on, I'm on, I'm going to make sure I make it a hard night for him. I guess that Gunston fits the bill then. He can he can play small and, and can mark it as well. Yeah. What did you think of his game? Oh, he's definitely got the attributes to, I suppose, while Buddy's not there, he can definitely stand up for him. But also, too, I think, um, you know, it, it comes down to the night and we could be, you know, we could come out firing at the start and if we do that, then they're going to be the ones that are going to be hunted for the night and, you know, that way we win the game. Uh, a few guys that have been out injured, are we expecting any of those to come back? Or... Um, I'm not too sure on, on where they are at the moment, but I know that uh, the VFL boys, there's a few that are ready to step straight in to, the, to fill a few shoes. So. No threats after the game of perhaps changes after that performance or what from James? Um, no, I think that's the thing. With the team that we've got, we know that that group of boys that we have, we have to stand up as a group and it, we can't just rely on other people to do the job for us. So we all look at our tapes today and when we come back and I guarantee everyone will be positive when we come out to train. Was the main thing just how easy the ball was coming in? You mentioned how quickly it was coming in on the week. And yeah. as defenders, did you just feel a little bit helpless? Um, sometimes you do. Sometimes I think um, you feel like it's uh, feel the players are getting bypassed, and it's really hard when you got someone like Tommy Hawkins just clunking everything, and you're trying to get in front of him. But other than that, you know, we um, 
we know that a big thing for us is we've got to lift our defensive pressure. And at the start of the year, our defensive pressure was probably one of the best. And I think that you know this week we'll, we'll do that. We'll come out and we did it against Carlton, so there's no reason why we can't do it against Hawthorne.